these others let's see the prairie allium needs to be about four to eight inches so we can put lots of that in there the torch lily needs to be 12 to 15 inches so we can put lots of that in there welcome to hub city homestead my name is ruth join me and our family as we raise our chickens grow our garden and try out all the things that make a homestead we live on a small property so we're going to do homesteading small All right, so we are in the process of getting ready for winter some more. We've been painting the chicken coops and now we're getting a pathway in down the side of our garage which will help us access different parts of our lot and the chickens and everything a little easier and just make it easier to maintain this pathway here. So we are putting in pavers and so far so good. very bottom of this one and then we'll do red on the upper part and so this, this got all done actually there's right here oh, I started that but I ran out of paint oh <laughs> do you want to finish that and then this side we've just been adding a second layer plus doing that and we'll have to paint that red <laughs> On this side, you guys almost have it done. It looks so great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So our rooster in here. He's a bit of a speaker. Where the fence is covering right here. See, see how there's kind of some blobs in there. Kind of smooth out. Thank you. Move slowly. And the chickens will love it and the camera will do a really good job. Hi, oh, look at the camera. Oh, 
Thank you. So we're getting all set up for Halloween. Cute little decorations and our fun little <laughs> sunflowers. No, she does not like the ghosts. You don't like the ghost clown? Pretty girl. So kids have already got our cemetery set up. I did most of it. Yeah. Well, all of it. So now we're getting these clowns up, and then we'll get, and we'll get our pumpkins up. Oh, good. Oh, we got our ghosties up. Our pumpkins. More ghosties. A little. Anyway, so much fun. We are going to plant some fall seeds. I want to have some really pretty bushes that come up in the springtime that are low water. Uh, they're going to be perennial, so I'm excited about that as well. But we have this beautiful little flower garden right here, right in front of our porch, that I want to put some pretty things in. These aren't necessarily practical things, other than they are low water. They're just something to make the yard look nice. So we're going to get these seeds planted in here. What I have, I have prairie allium. So it plants in the fall or you cold stratify, but we're in a really cold area. So I don't need to cold stratify because it's going to get cold. I also have torch lilies, which I think are going to be really pretty. And in my little bowl here, I have it's Baptisia, or blue indigo bush. And so we're going to have some blue, some purple, and some orangey red flowers in this garden. Okay, so i got my helper, Kaylee, here. Don't go too deep. Uh, and she is going to plant, careful that's a piece of cat poop right there, yeah, so she's made a little hole, let's not make it that deep, yeah, there we go, and then take two or three of these seeds, let's put one more in there, hi mittens, I don't want you in here, and then, just get them in there, We'll get it covered. Okay, and then take you got them covered up. Go ahead and put one of those sticks in there so we know where we planted the blue indigo. There we go. Okay, what we want to do is do one on in the middle between the end and, and the, the blue indigo there. I'll get some seeds out. And this has got to be a super shallow hole. We don't want them to, in fact, you don't even hardly have to bury them. Yeah. We're going to put a couple seeds in there. And just bury them. Yeah, just slightly bury them. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, like an eighth of an inch is what it says. Yeah, put that there so we know where we put that one. And then we want to, I want to do two in between here, so, yeah, and then one right in there, sounds good, alright, yeah, just make a, a little depression, let me get a couple more seeds, maybe, Okay, and just barely cover them up. Perfect. Put our little, oh, yeah, little, put the little thing it? in there. Yep. So we know where it's at. Oh my god, come over here. Like the other time. Get one more in there. Okay, and just cover them up. And put a little stick in there. And then we're just going to put some in between each of these sticks. So yeah, right in the middle there. Put that up and then right there in that little divot. Yep, 
area and see if it's sticking. Okay, and that's all we're doing. Well, as far as planting, now I'm going to put my little... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Thanks for watching us today and joining us as we go through our fall and winter season here in the garden and on the homestead. There's lots going on. It's interesting how every season has its chores and the things that you got to do so that the next season's even better. Uh, if you like what you see, remember to like, subscribe, share, hit the little bell icon so you get notifications on when we post our videos. And we hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.